Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Virgo. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Wands. Um, passionately moving towards something or someone. Um, in the recent past, you get the Four of Wands, the Judgment card, the Six of Swords. Huh, there was a commitment here uh, that you were supposed to learn a lot from. Now, that could come in the form of many aspects in terms of maybe things didn't go right maybe you've gone through a lot of pain and you needed to learn from that because i see a sense of uh this being left behind uh this whole situation this whole dynamic it does look long term um does look like a marriage possibly but very transformative very it and i keep on wanting to say it, it was supposed to come with a lot of transformation because I see an aspect of you just dropping it like, or not just dropping it like it was nothing, but just going through that pain and not really learning the lessons that you needed to learn out of it. Um, of course, this could be the other person. Um, in the current situation, you get the King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the World card. Some heaviness, some burdens um, related to possibly a fire sign here, but they're coming to an end. So I don't exactly know what the hell is making things hard here in this situation but again it does look like whatever's feeling hard is going away um in the immediate future you get the sun the four of cups the queen of pentacles all right ah <sighs> there's you right here there's you feeling happy and feeling discontent and feeling happy and feeling discontent which is normal we all go through that but i see an overall sense of happiness to be honest. And then there's this little bugger of an energy here that comes in to tell you, yeah, but still, I hate that this is happening or that this is happening. And, you know, that complainer part of us, which we all have it. Um, but overall, again, this is the happiest card in the deck. So uh, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Knight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Lovers. Ooh, beautiful energy. You're heading straight towards uh, balance, towards an energy of love between two very powerful soulmates here. You know, brand new beginning here for the two of you, basically. Where the energies feel very balanced. And something is grabbing you and placing you into this energy. Uh, let's see here. Let me clarify the Four of Wands in the recent past. Whew. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Whatever this commitment was, I feel like it ended, and I feel like it ended in not such a great way. Lots of deception, lots of lies, lots of... Just blah. Yeah. I don't know on whose part. I'm going to guess it's both parts because that's the way it goes usually. Takes two to tango here to exchange this kind of an energy. Uh, let me clarify the judgment in the recent past. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Ace of Swords. See, this is a part I'm talking about, the skipping part. Skipping... I feel like somebody, and I feel like it's you, were rushing towards something else, something new. Like, I'm done with this. It's been crap. It's been it's been good for what it was. But at the end, I feel like there's this energy of, 
a whole lot of not so great energies. And because of that, you might have taken yourself and be like, the hell with this, I need something new. Chop, chop. Um, he skipped something very important here. This situation had a lot of things to teach you. I feel like in the beginning, you're like, yeah, I'm learning from it. Yeah, but that, that, that's it. I'm done. You know? Kind of like skipping a very important class here in school. You know, that important chapter or that important, that the, the one that ties up everything together. Kind of feels like that. Let me clarify the Six of Swords since it showed up already. Two of Wands, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles. All right, so I see you walking away from this and then tying something up with somebody else. It could be in the form of a friendship. It could be in the form of uh, collaboration with somebody. It may have turned into something else because I do see happiness behind it. Uh, but I see you after a little while of determining for yourself, I need to get myself out. Coming together in another um, connection with somebody. But again, it shows up as a friendship there or a collaboration. Let me see the King of Wands in the, in the current situation. The King of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands. There's a little bit of disagreements here, a little bit of possibly misunderstandings, possibly fighting, possibly resistance towards who knows what. Um, there's a lot of passion here between the two of you. I can see that. But from that, it kind of turns a lot of the times in um, possibly conflict. And one of you in particular is very stubborn about this conflict. Could be the both of you, I don't know. Let's see the Ten of Wands. That could make things a little bit hard here, but I do see the two of you being a good match, just having those yak 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 at times. Uh, for the Ten of Wands, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups, excuse me, and the Queen of Swords. See, Virgo, you have this tendency, and I see you having it from the past, of skipping um, skipping things that you need to be learning, that you need to be possibly more aware of. I feel like whatever conflict is showing up for you, whatever crap kind of energy showed up for you in the past, um, you kind of took it as that, being like, okay, it happened. Um, yeah, it sucks. I'm hurt from it. It's, yeah. But your logical sense comes at play a lot of the times. And it's saying, um, there's nothing to learn here. It's just how it is. We fight, bye. I don't know. There's again that tendency. There's again that this is a beginner's kind of mind, kind of card. Of let's learn something from this. Especially from the whatever is making things heavy in this current dynamic you're having with somebody. And you're like, yeah, I don't, there, there's nothing to learn from here. Your logical mind comes to play again. And it's telling you, no, 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 no. It's just a fight. It's nothing. Nothing to learn out of this. Okay. You're skipping class, Virgo. What are you doing? Uh, we all do that at times, so don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. Speaking of class, uh, for the world, you get the Hierophant, the Four of Cups, and the world again. All right, so there's a sense of discontent, possibly in a marriage or a commitment you may have with somebody. It's coming to an end. This sense of, I don't like this about it, if that's you, that could be them, of course. It's surrounded by two world cards, which is telling me, okay, enough is enough. You know, start seeing the positive in this. Because if you are hanging on to the negative, of course it's going to lead to fights or disagreements. or, And that goes for the both of you that are involved here in this commitment that I see you having with somebody. Uh, let me clarify the sun. Sun. 
Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, Two of Swords. Wow, this comes in as that energy of happiness is so simple to achieve. Everything in this life is actually. Um, things are more simple than we think and that's the problem we start thinking and that's when we complicate things when they're so so freaking simple and i feel like you're looking for ways to open up your heart to experience this happiness and the more you do that thinking about ways to do that the more you get here confused like no tomorrow and it's like happiness is right in front of you and you're thinking of ways well how can i touch it you don't need to you just need to feel it and Again, the more you start looking into ways of feeling this happiness that I feel like is surrounding you, um, the more you get into your head about it. Let me clarify the Four of Cups in the immediate future. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Swords. Whew, there's a sense of uh, loss of hope. You know, that you and somebody here that you are thinking about or feeling this love for um, are going to spend this time together, are going to come back together, possibly. Somebody's losing hope here, and I feel like it's you. Um, again, if you hold on to the sense of discontent, unhappiness, finding the uh, negative things in a dynamic rather than the positive ones, or the both of them. Both of them are acceptable because both exist at the same time. The negative and the positive, right? But we usually tend to focus on the negative ones. And when we do that, we find something that's wrong with stuff. And that'll prevent you from getting to this energy that you actually want of love. You know? Let me clarify the Queen of Pentacles. In the immediate future. Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords. All right. See, I've seen this for you for quite some time of trying to achieve this independence, this freedom, this, even if you are with somebody, doesn't matter. Just feeling that self-empowerment. You know, I've seen you for a while trying to achieve that. Um, there's something very painful here that you're not wanting to dig up, to bring to the surface, to deal with. And that's what's preventing you from achieving this energy for yourself. And a lot of people go through that when, you know, we think it's so pain painful that we don't even want to go there. I'm going to tell you a secret. It's not going to be more painful than the first time you experienced it. Whatever it is. Trust me on that. Um... And unfortunately, the only way out is through. That is true. So you're going to have to go through this pain eventually, Virgo. To get to yourself, basically. So, from the universe, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands. There's your Queen of Wands. Yeah, definitely take an action towards this person. There's definitely a person in your life. Could be a fire sign again. Uh, you're moving your own way, you know, slowly but surely getting there. Not worried about it, but you're the one that's taking action here towards them. Energetically speaking, it doesn't have to be physically, right? Uh, so I feel like your energy is towards this person. Which I feel like it's, it's a good dynamic overall. It's just your perception of it all. The way you're taking things is going to shape this into something beautiful or something icky. Really up to you. So, that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hope this helped. See you next time.